Hey there, my name's David. On this episode, I'm gonna show you how to use GPX files, and we're gonna be doing it for hiking, but it doesn't matter what activity you use them for, it's all the same. So I'll be using Gaia GPS to put my tracks into because that's the program I use. It doesn't matter what program you use, but I find Gaia GPS just to be the best. They have the most options, the most layers, and it's just the easiest to use. So first off, we need a GPX file. In this case, I'm at my I'd Rather Be Hiking Facebook group. If you click on files on the side here, here's all the GPX tracks I've uploaded. It doesn't matter which one, we'll just pick one here. So once we've downloaded our GPX track, I've moved over here to Gaia GPS. This is the website I use. There's multiple different programs you can use. This one I find is the best, which is why I've subscribed to this one. And it is a paid service. You can use it for free, but you won't get as many layers. Now, on the side here, you can see there's overlays and all this kind of stuff. But basically the layers, this allows you to change what is visible here. In this case, that's more of a topography view. And so we're going to be adding in Mount Wesley. So Mount Wesley is right here. And you can see there's actually already a track here. And that's the cool thing about Guy GPS. It actually comes with a bunch of tracks. It also comes with this back road map book, which has all these tracks, which a lot of these date back to like the 50s. Um, some of these don't exist anymore, but it's cool to see like where people have hiked. So in this case, we're going to be putting in a hiking trail going from Cathedral Grove up to Mount Wesley. We're, to do that, we're going to go import data on the side here and select your file here. So we're going down to Mount Wesley double click that select it so you can see it pops the track in there and it actually shows the direction there's arrows of which way I went going up here now it doesn't really matter because this is just an out and back but if you say come came down this way it would show where and now if all I have to do is save the one item it pops it in there and now it's a part of my guy GPS anytime I look at this whether it's on my phone or on my computer here it doesn't matter which one you're using it on it populates it on both now, if you click on it, you can see the actual track and it shows you the elevation profile here. It gives you your, your ascent meters. You can also change this to feet and all that kind of stuff if you're in the US and your distance, how many you know hours it took. Now, in the case of someone using mine, my track, it would show my you know, stats. This took me five hours and 57 minutes. Maybe you're faster, maybe you're slower, but it just gives you a rough estimate. And especially if you watch my videos, you'll know like what I'm hiking and my fitness level relatively based on what I'm doing. So you can kind of base that off of yours. And yeah, it just gives you all the different information here. So the cool thing about this is you can create your own routes too, your own GPX tracks and then share that with your friends. And so to do that, you just click on route and you can see here we're over at Mount 5040. So say you can't drive all the way in and you want it to say park over here. You can actually use the roads as well and you don't have to like select all the way along it see it just maps it right on there and say if we're going up the northwest ridge route you can just click and see it just follows it so you can just click right on the summit and there it goes and now you have your track and you can save that or if you want to say you know say if you're going down the cobalt lake route you can just click your way down that and then click back over here and just click back to where your car is here and it's mapped it all the way back and there's a huge circuit going all the way back there so all you have to do now is name that, you know, 5040, save that, and now you have a GPX track. And then you can simply just go over here to export and select a GPX, and that's it. You can export this and send it to someone. So now if we open up our Guy GPS app, there's Mount Wesley. There, see it populated it right on our track there. Our, our track is put in there, and now when we're hiking this, all we have to do is follow our marker all the way up and it's a easy way to kind of keep yourself on track now you can also create your own gpx tracks by pushing the uh, button up there and go record track at the top here and now it'll start recording you and at the end you can save that and that's also another way to create a gpx track as you're hiking it's important to know when you're hiking that you can lose kind of connection with your gps um the, you know satellite in the, the sky so you're you'll be following a track and suddenly your dot will pop and you may be off track, but it's at least a good way to kind of keep you in general on track. It's a good thing to know how to use a map and compass just in case you are in that situation when there's really bad weather or fog rolls in and you can't use your, your map on your phone anymore. In general though, most of the time with the modern phones, you don't really lose connection. This is kind of the only problem that was something that maybe five years ago, uh, the phones back then. Today, the phones always seem to always have connection. And that has nothing to do with cell tower connection. It's actually the GPS in the sky that you'll get connection with. Some places where you can't actually call anyone, you'll still get GPS from the sky that shows you where you are. 
If you guys want to check out Guy GPS, I reached out to the company and they gave me a discount code for you guys if you want to get it. It's I think it's about 10 or 15, 18% discount, something like that. So I have a link in the description, which is that discount code. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and why not subscribe? And until next one, have a great day.